Hello once again. Uh, my name is Adam Dye. My call sign is N4NT, November 4, November Tango. Uh, this is a second video in a series of videos about uh, some how-tos for NetLogger. Uh, we've started using NetLogger here at the, with the Bristol Amateur Radio Club and our neighboring club, the Mountain Empire Amateur Radio Society. And uh, some of us have... Uh, membership in both clubs and and use this program uh with both so uh, anyway we'll go ahead and get started uh the first video we showed you how to set everything up and uh, get ready to call a net to make it a little bit easier for when uh, when that time comes one thing i'm going to review and make double certain that way if you didn't uh have a use for or watch the first video i want to make sure i cover this either way and that's to come up here to view and make sure that this manual station highlighter is checked. Um, <clears throat> here in a moment, we're going to show you how that um, comes in handy whenever we're calling the net. So, at this point, we're going to uh, we'll go live with the net and uh, show you how some of those uh, those things work. So, we've opened up our net logger program, and as we see, the last net that we uh, we called the check ins are all still there. Um, maybe maybe it was a net that you called or a net that you participated in. Either way, uh, sometimes that will happen. So what we need to do uh, first thing is just go up here to edit and hit clear check-ins. And it, that cleans the screen up for us. Uh, next thing we want to do, um, you can go ahead and have your net pre-selected up here if you want to. Or it maybe it's on the last net you called. Um, so go up here and find the net that you saved. For us, the Bristol 2 meter net, um, net control station, if you need to change that, uh, if it's going to be um, someone different, you can change that around. We'll keep uh, we'll keep Jim on there as our net control. So we're going to go over here to create net and create a new online net. And this little screen pops up and this password, um, again, it's... Uh, you can change that from net to net or you can leave it the same. Uh, I recommend if you're going to have multiple people that uh, call the nets and you want to give uh, you want to give someone else access to be able to uh, to log your net um, to go ahead and make that something and just share it with everybody. Uh, all that is is so someone can break in with their net logger session and start logging the net either with you or for you if for some reason you have to you're the net controller or the net logger and you have to leave you have an emergency or something somebody can hop in and take right over which comes in handy because all the check-ins and everything will be there if something like that happens um, i've actually been on a couple hf nets before where uh, mother nature made a immediate call and the net controller uh, handed the duties over to someone else and they just jumped right in and took over so if your information is not already in there, uh, you can type it in. But uh, if you watch the first video, we've set everything up. So boom, it's it's all automatically there. Put put the password in and hit OK. So as of right now, we are actually live online. Uh, if folks log into NetLogger and look, it'll look as if we're conducting a net. So first thing I want to do is uh, <clears throat> pull up this AIM window. This is almost instant messages. <laughs> Now what you can do is you can reduce the size of your net logger screen and run this beside it if you're running a single screen. I run two monitors, which you can't see that in the video, so I can pull my aim screen over here to the other monitor and get it out of the way. But what I'm going to do is just type in a message. Um, I'm just going to type a message that way if someone opens our net up while we're live they'll see it's you know don't don't go looking for us on the air we're not there and as you see it's called almost instant messages that's why it's it takes about that long to pop up so for me i'm going to scoot this out of the way you're not going to see this but i'll have it uh have it over here um, another thing you can do while you're uh while you're live and on the air is you can view who's monitoring your net and uh, it, does, it doesn't have to just be, you don't have to be the net controller, you can be a participating station. Hit view net monitors and it'll show you their call, their name, and they're lurking. Um, now when you check someone in, so I'm going to check myself into the net. Hit tab. You type in the call sign, hit tab. Okay, so we look at our monitors, now it shows me it's checked in instead of lurking. So this list will build over time and you'll see who's there and who's not. But I'm going to move that out of the way for right now. 
All right, so I've checked into the net. Uh, let's uh, check in uh, KL1ZA. Actually, I should have put him as number one, but uh, since I'm pretending he's net control, but we'll get back to that. And I'm going to put in a couple more people just so I can show you some things. Um, and if you recall, if you watched the first video, we actually added some information. See, and this information's popping up as we go along. Okay, so I got these four check-ins. And I go to acknowledge these people on the air. <clears throat> the reason I had you select manual station highlighter is you can uh, move this highlighter to whoever's turn it is to check in. So let's say, or to make comments or whatever. So let's say it's Jim's turn uh, to make comments. I can highlight him, but I can still move around down here and do other things and the purple bar stays where it's at as long as i check over here in the number box beside them now i can't move the purple bar clicking right here but i can move it clicking here clicking here and so forth and that's how the purple bar moves if you've ever monitored one of the nets that i've uh, i've logged that's how it moves without moving everything else um, another thing that we can do is uh, again during the net we can change people's information like let's say I, I want to get rid of uh, this double click and I just want to put Dallas over here and I want to save that so it shows up every time so I right click and hit add update club info so if I make changes like that I have to hit add update club info or it won't be there the next time um, another thing that I can do Jim is our net controller, so I want to highlight his name and right click. And under net official status, I'm going to make him the net controller. And over here under status, let me collapse this window a little bit, it's going to show him as net controller. OP beside my name means I'm the operator, so anytime you're logged in, it's going to show you as the operator. So um, I come back up here, and I want to show that I am the net logger, so my net official status is logger and let's say we're doing an HF net and Dallas here is going to relay for us he's going to listen up for other stations so I'm going to set his net official status as a relay uh, let's say we're doing an HF net and we've called Gary and we didn't hear him we can set his status as not heard we can set him, set him as uh, checked out there's also some individual statuses here uh, that will show up like if you've worked the individual yeah, there'll be a W out there. Um, these Some of these will be covered in uh, logging as a uh, station checking in. Uh, mobile and portable check-ins. We can very easily right-click and we'll set Gary as a mobile right there and it shows him mobile or portable. Show Ben as a portable station. Um, I'm not going to go over every single one of these. Some of these have function keys that you can actually just highlight them and hit the function key. Um, I wish mobile and portable had that. Uh, the fact that they're in quotation marks here, there's probably a way to do that. I just haven't haven't looked into uh, that. You can clear that status by coming down here, or you can get rid of that check-in by clearing the row, deleting the row. Um, let's say uh, somebody checked in between in in between Gary and Ben. You know, we can come down here just like um, Microsoft Excel and insert a row and put that check-in right there. Um, it, it has those basic functions um, and that's pretty much it for uh, net control um, like I said you can move the uh, station highlighter for each person as it's their turn uh, you can get on here and uh, chat with folks on the instant messenger you can view your monitors uh, who's monitoring your net that kind of thing um, whenever you get done with the net uh, let's say uh, let's say you want to just stop logging the net um, and someone else is going to continue you can hit stop logging you can continue as a check-in with the net and participate uh, we won't use that much I'm sure uh, maybe on our HF nets we if we ever get big enough we'll hand off net control duties or you can uh, we can close the net so we're going to hit close it's going to ask us if we're sure and we're going to say yes so we've just uh, we've just closed the net and we're no longer live and online um, Now, once we've closed our net, there are some uh, optional things that we can do. Um, well, let's say you've got a real busy net going on and you've uh, 
you put a bunch of check-ins in and you want to change some information and you didn't get to while you were there like uh, let's say we we went ahead and typed it in during the net but we just didn't have time and if you're the net controller and you type this in during the net it's going to show it to everybody um, but let's say we just didn't have time right then to save all this information so we can go back and uh, individually add or update info and save it after the fact as long as you haven't cleared the screen off you can go back and save all these changes you made during the net uh, by right clicking each call I think and I haven't tried this yet so okay no yeah I was what I was trying to do is see if it would actually let you highlight more than one station and it won't so uh, if that question comes up there there's your answer you, you do have to do the uh, saving of info for each individual station once you've done it once though it should be there until you, until you need to change it um, again you can go back and do all that after the net if you want to uh, another thing you can do you can actually save your check-in file for uh, later reference should you need it so you go up here to file and uh, hit save check-ins as and you can give it your own name that you want to it's going to pop up another screen here in a moment or two there we go and it goes to a default folder uh, and as you can see I've saved several nets already um, I did that one just for uh, demo purposes this is about the third or fourth take on this video to be honest with you um, <clears throat> if you do save as you can either add to or change the name completely as you see I changed the name um, if you just want to take the default name that the program gives you just hit save that comes in handy if uh, if it crashes and you got to pull it back up or something like that um, it gives you a place to go to to open those files because it will go right back to that file when you do open uh, this is a file that's created whenever you you upload the program um, one of the things that I forgot to mention sometimes whenever you open NetLogger it's going to look more like this actually uh, you're going to have uh, have a screen down here that shows check-ins that you have logged um, so hopefully uh, no one's flipping out because I didn't cover that to begin with um, I go uh, when I'm a net control station sometimes we even when I'm on a net because it'll flag people up here if I've worked them I just get rid of this slide it down so I have more room uh, if the net's big enough and you want to do uh, you want to do it you can get rid of this and just have this screen right here uh, just a matter of preference I, I run a couple different screens and uh, my other screen actually has a little more width and height to it uh, than the one I'm having to do the video on so I don't collapse this up here but I do get rid of this down here um, but I hope uh, that you find this helpful this information as far as how to how to log these nets and uh, hopefully uh, more people will download and use this program it's a it's a handy little uh, sidebar to the net itself as it's going on you can get on the instant messenger and chat uh, kind of keep up with things as you go along. Uh, thank you.